Hey everybody, welcome back to Sharon's Nail Boutique. We are doing a silicone hand unboxing and a St. Patty's Day design. Pretty easy tutorial for you guys today. This hand is from Yo Killy on Amazon. And we are reviewing these Mech Coffin Clear 600 piece clear nail tips. And honestly guys, these are amazing as well. So as you probably noticed, I am gonna be doing a, quite a bit of reviews on tips, nail lamps, drills, etc. on this channel. I love how these tips came. Like the box itself is really cool. If you look and see, I'm gonna show you from the side, there's like the shape of the box. It gives it so much more room for the tips on the inside to sit. And it's a 600 piece, guys. I just like all the way around. I love how it closes, That's that extra latch. It just, it's more secure that way. So this is the box that the silicone hand is in. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy special. Now this again is the Yokili silicone practice hand and it's a typical standard cardboard box, but I really appreciate it because it will keep it safe. I did pick up the two pack of the Gorilla Glue and the Silpoxy silicone adhesive because I saw that these combinations are used quite a bit with the silicone practice hands. Now here's a slow-mo of me undoing the box for you guys. <laughs> Now, this is everything that came inside the box, guys. So this is what you can expect from your Achilles. So you get the tips that go inside that you push in to glue the other nail tips onto. You get a two-piece hand file and a buffer. And then you get this really cool suction cup thing that goes onto your table. You just clean it off really well. Your hand comes in this really cute organza bag. Nothing special over the top. It doesn't have any rings or anything, but it does look very, very close to a real hand. I really like that the hand came already preset with the ball thing inside, so that way all you have to do is just stick it into the opposite side and screw everything in. So that's how you do it. You put the screw side onto the ball, and then you stick the ball into that side and screw it tight. Then you take your nail tips and you push them all the way in. Now, the one thing I noticed is that these don't go really far back. They only go to the first knuckle. Now, I was able to do my tips and everything. It wasn't a huge issue, so I guess it's, it's not bad. So, overall, I give this hand the unboxing and everything. And from what I know now after using it, I would give it uh, probably a 4 out of 5 stars. Um... Definitely not top, top of the line, but it's not bad either. It works for what I needed. I didn't even glue my tips down either. So um, if anyone has any suggestions or advice of how I can use my silicone hand better, just more efficient and um, maybe secure my tips better, just let me know in the comments below, guys. And so all you see me doing now is using the Gorilla Glue gel and gluing on. And this stuff works so fast, guys. Like, this stuff works quicker than a lot of my nail super glues, honestly. And this is the Gorilla Glue gel. So I actually really, really like it. It glued really fast on here. My other nails are not glued down, like I said. I didn't have any issues with them really coming out or anything like that. I'm just um, kind of shaping these a little bit kind of taking those corners in a little bit and just uh flattening them to go with the nail bed kind of blending them in basically so after finishing blending i would go in with my opi bondade on a typical hand regular person's hand now i don't know why i did that on the practice hand but then you would naturally go in with whatever primer you use i use no lift nails acid base um, with acid list, you go in while it's still damp. With acid base, you want to go in when it's dry. These are all the acrylics that I wanted to use. Now, I didn't end up using all of them, but most of them I did. Now, a lot of these glitters I did use as well. Um, a lot of these I have never used before. So, I'm going in with my thin clear base as I normally do using my Mia Secret Violet Monomer and using my Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Polymer. Now, I swear by Mia Secret. I love Mia Secret system. I've been using it since I first, first started doing nails after the cheap uh, kit that I got from Asia. I kind of threw that out and just stuck with Mia Secret from then on out. I also use Glam and Glitz as well, which is actually pretty similar, 
um, as far as like system goes, like the drying time and stuff like that. Um, Glam and Glitz though is more of a wetter system, whereas Mia Secret is like a good cross between the two, a wet and dry. So the only thing that I wish is that Mia Secret made bigger containers because I love their products, their colors and everything. So going in with this glitter mix made by Unique Nail Creations, and I've had this since I first, first started doing nails, and this is called Luck of the Irish. So it's perfect for our St. Patty's Day design on this hand. Just gorgeous. So with glitter, as always, you're gonna wanna make sure you're picking up very small wet beads and picking up small amounts of glitter, especially when you're using a chunkier glitter because you wanna make sure that you're laying it, covering up all those spaces and you're laying it nice and flat because when you come in to encapsulate, it'll be that much harder still if you don't lay them flat and they're just kind of sticking up all over the place. So. You want to make sure that you're cleaning up your edges and you're tucking in your sidewalls and your cuticle area naturally. I'm going to go in with a tiny, tiny bit more up at that cuticle area because I felt like there wasn't enough covering up there. So just add a little bit more and then we will come in and encapsulate. Now with the first bead, I like to do like a very wet bead so that it can sink in and around those glitters. And then we'll come in with another bead and fully kind of cap the entirety of the nail. So, like I said, you want to pay close attention to how I'm capping when I am capping because, you know, you won't have your glitter capped unless it's matte in appearance. That's how you know that it's capped fully because it will not be like shimmery anymore. You know what I mean? So excuse me if I'm out of frame somewhat, I'm just kind of pulling in those sides, making sure I'm pulling and padding out as I'm coming down. So gra naturally gravity is going to do its thing anyways, right? If your hand is on a downward angle, it's going to do its thing naturally with gravity. So it's already coming down the nail for you. You just want to be making sure that you're holding your brush on those proper angles. like. When you're coming down the sides, if you're doing a square, obviously you'd want to be at like a 90-ish degree angle. With Kaufman, you want to be at like that 45-ish degree angle coming down those side walls because otherwise it'll be looking like a blocky square nail. And if you're doing Kaufman, that defeats the whole purpose, right? So I'm just adding another cuticle bead, making sure that it's nice and thin up in that those top wall areas around the edges as Tammy Taylor would say, nooks and crannies, or hills and valleys, sorry. Nooks and crannies, what am I, fucking Thomas English muffin? <laughs> Can't speak. Okay, so now we're going in with Green Night, I believe, and this is uh, Mia Secret's Glow Collection, and this is my first time actually using the Green Glow one, so I actually need to take some pictures of it glowing, because I have not seen it in its most beautiful form. So... I really actually like this green a lot. I feel like it's a beautiful, like, spring mossy green color. Just gorgeous. And, you know, a lot of glow colors is crazy because if you look at a lot of glow colors, the pigmentation sometimes is just screwy throughout the acrylic. Like, you'll get, like, the beads of pigmentation or sometimes it'll be too clear looking. And this color, just amazing Mia Seeker you guys did amazing on the pigment in this color just beautiful and even their other uh glow color same thing the blue one all of them they're all mixed so beautifully now I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna come back in and do a glitter over the top of it it's gonna be gorgeous this one is gonna be our ombre nail so we're actually going in with K Lange's glitter mix here now I forgot the name of it exactly but it is so beautiful. It has these really gorgeous iridescent, like green uh, shamrocks in there. It has the rainbow iridescent hexes, multi mix hexes. It has holographic gold stars. Oh, just gorgeous. It has the iridescent four point stars. Such a beautiful, beautiful mix. Look at that, just amazing. And we're gonna go in with our Glam and Glitz Bleeming, which is from their Color Blend 3 collection. And it's a very pretty peachy nude color. And this is my first time using it on this set. So 
Yes, I have not used all the colors yet, guys. So we're really gonna be doing it up this summer. Since I got this hand now, Lola Jr., she gonna be getting her nails did like all the time. So let me know what you guys think. Like if you prefer to watch me work on myself, do you not, like is this good enough? Like, what do you guys think? Do you like Lola Jr.? Do you prefer my hands? I don't know. I personally prefer Lola Jr. just because, like, it's a hassle when you have to work on yourself. You know what I mean? It's just a pain in the ass. And sometimes you get lazy and you end up being like, oh, I'll do it later. And then you never get around to it. At least with, you know, the fake hand, you don't have to do too much, um like your prep you could just imitate and basically explain it to people whereas with yourself obviously you want to get it done right because you don't want your nails popping on and off unless you do and yeah i guess you could if you really wanted to it's just a pain in the ass but moving forward i am going in now with that beautiful good luck bear from Alyssa nails clicks she made that for my Care Bear nail swap years ago when I first first came on the scene on YouTube. So amazing glitter mix, hun. I'm just going in now in and around those spaces with my green, very holographic fine glitter. And now I'm coming in over that ombre glitter nail and I'm putting these iridescent pearlescent pink shamrocks over the top. So I'm gonna go in with four of them and then we're gonna come in with our peachy nude over the top of those. Look at how pretty, very peachy. This is my first time using like a peach nude color. And personally, it's not my favorite peachy nude. Like I've seen definitely better, um, but you know, it, it's okay. It's not bad. It's pretty, you know, it does the trick. I just wish they were mixed a little better and I wish it was like a little more nude, you know? So I'm just pushing that up really thin into that cuticle area, making sure that my sidewalls are tucked nicely and that I don't have any product on the skin anywhere. Pushing that next bead up into the cuticle once again, building up my apex, making sure that that is pushed into the proper places and it's nice and even over the entirety of the nail because when you come in and encapsulate at the bottom you know you want to bring it up to the peach nude up to your apex area and when we're happy with that and it's built up properly we will come in with our clear acrylic polymer and finish encapsulating the nail and you wanna just come in with your first layer kinda of decently damp so that it goes in and around those shamrocks. I'm just fixing that nude a little bit. So there we go. Just gonna make sure that my sides are kinda of tucked in, that I dried out the bead a little bit so it's not too, too wet. But enough to get in and around those glitters and to where I can mold it and spread it beautifully and evenly without it giving me too much of a hassle like so and then i'll come in too with another bead up at that cuticle area and i end up adding more too at the free edge area because i felt like it was not um even enough to the rest of the nail so Remember, you're looking at all angles, not just from yours, but from theirs as well. So adding another bead up here in our apex area. Blending that into the next bead, and then I'll come in with another one. I noticed I messed up that free edge area a little bit, so I had to fix it. And if that ever happens and your bead is drying, just make sure your brush is really wet and come back in and try and fix it as good as you possibly can, which I was actually lucky enough to be able to do. Um, so now we're just gonna come back in and add a bead right here because I felt like it was not 
even enough to the rest of the nail. So I add that and then I move on, I believe. You see how that looks? Perfect. So now we're gonna add our wet bead on here so that it sinks in and around those glitters. Like I was saying before. And you're not going to overplay with the top of that bead because you just want it to sit and naturally have that rounded look up at that top part. That's how you want it to be. Because when you come back into file, all you're going to do is take a little bit off the rim around the edges. That's it. And then you're going to buff the rest of your nail into shape. You know, this is why I think my sets always take me super duper long because instead of taking my own advice and, you know, getting my acrylic near perfect with my brush, which is basically what I do now, but I, I always feel like I have to go like that extra mile and fi hand file and buff, which you don't. As long as you get your acrylic laid properly, and it's not too thick, not too thin, like you're fine. All you have to do is come in with your electric file, you know, shape, get it tapered nicely and buff, that's it. So that's why too, I'm practicing a lot on Lola Jr. because I wanna get to the point where I can do that where, and feel comfortable with it. Like I wanna get to the point where I can do that with my clients nails and they look decent enough to where I could just not hand file just electric file buff that's it and boom bang done they're out so finish with that nail now we're moving on to the pointer now at first I was gonna do a marble on this finger but then after I saw how these two colors looked like kind of blended vertically I'm like you know what we need to do a vertical ombre. So that's what I decided to do. And we are using Mia Secret Let's Party and Mia Secret Selfie. And these colors are fucking gorgeous. They are from Mia Secret's Blue Lovers Collection. And yes, I am a blue lover. I freaking love blue so, so much. It's my favorite color. And I love all shades of blues. From greens to teals to royal blues to baby blues to turquoise like just you name it I love it if it's a shade of blue I love all colors really I'm a very bright colorful outgoing person but in particular greens to blues like those are my shades so look at how gorgeous guys this vertical ombre looks so you see how I'm using these colors like really really wet making sure that they are pushed up into that cuticle as close as we could get it without touching the skin and just, yes, going in with those colors, small wet beads, not big wet beads, small wet beads, like so. And just be building that up until you are happy. And then we will come in with our gorgeous glitters that we're going to use in the center of that. I'm going to use, um, I think it was Luck of the Irish that I reached for. It's the glitter for me. So I'm going in with the shamrocks like down the center of the vertical ombre and picking up some other pieces too, like the tinsels and some of the smaller like hexes in there, like the matte pieces. So I decided to like go in with these glitters and just place those shamrocks going up vertically. And I thought that it looked really cute. Like at first I wasn't, gonna, I was just gonna kind of place glitters kind of like sporadically but then i was looking at the shamrocks and i'm like no like these are gonna look super lit like lined up like that's what we gotta do so I'm, i start looking for the glitters and start looking for the shamrocks and i'm like yes this is gonna work so that's what i went in with and i thought it looked so so cute this was actually one of my favorite nails at the very end um so yeah, let me know what you guys, let me know what your guys' favorite nail was out of all of these. I really like the pointer a lot. So I'm doing a one bead method on here, guys. Check it out. 
So just making sure that it's a decent, again, wet bead. Not super wet because you don't want it falling everywhere, but wet enough to where it is going to kind of sink in and around those glitters, you know? And it's not going to be so dry to where it, like, causes air bubbles or anything like that. You see how easy that was? You just let gravity do its thing. You really don't got to do a lot with your brush as long as you're holding it at the right angles and you're letting the hand sit at a downward angle every it's about working smarter not harder pretty much anyone can do this anyone has the ability to learn this it's just having the patience guys so now i'm trying to go in and build my apex up so that we have our strength where we need it Brushing some of that backwards. You see? Nice. Nice. So, the thumb. Last but surely not least. So, we go in again with our two colors. Selfie and Let's Party. And I start off the thumb with those two colors once again. See how gorgeous that is. I don't know how I keep cutting myself, but I do. And then, so this nail ends up becoming a marble. I go in with beads of clear, selfie, let's party, and the glitter. And I just, you know, start swirling them together. And I actually think that this marble came out really, really cute. Granted, I didn't have a whole lot of colors I was working with. But just these colors alone together, they, they really did look really good i'm just making sure that i'm keeping my brush clean and making sure that my product is not getting on the skin that it's you know it's coming down the nail nicely and i'm gonna come in with again a clear let's party and selfie and we are gonna continue to swirl those down and up the nail and they're just gonna, you know, do their own thing, adding some glitter in there with the shamrocks and just kind of let it fall down. Can you see that? It's like you don't gotta do much. Like it just, it literally goes where you need it. Boom. How cute is that, guys? Seriously. So now we just, we're gonna encapsulate that and then we'll be done with the encapsulation and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna use our tapered, I don't know if it's safety per se, but it's a tapered like volcano five in one bit. I will leave the link for that as well in the description index below, of course. We're gonna come in with our big wet bead and we're gonna do a one bead method or one ball method and we're just gonna you know place that and with gravity of course be pulling that and patting it and letting that come down the nail naturally just making sure that we're guiding it into the right spots and if need be we will add another bead which we do look at that no waste guys at all none and over time you get the hang of it you get you get it down packed to where you know your liquid to powder ratio and you don't have barely any waste you will get that trust me like with anything worthwhile it takes time so i'm just adding my apex bead now make sure you take out some of the liquid so that it doesn't move out of place too easily if you have to add another one you can And I do, I go in with one more Apex B, dry out the liquid, make sure that it stays up there. And then I pull from the bottom portion of it. And I'll show you in a second how it looks now. See? It's our Apex, guys. That's what gives us strength. So now we're just going to come in and we're going to start filing. And this is our BT Art Box drill now if you have not seen my unboxing and review of this drill you need to go back into my playlist under sharon's nail boutique and watch that video it's amazing this drill is fucking awesome excuse my language um but literally like seriously this is all you have to do this is the drill bit i was telling you about the five in one 
I'll leave it in the description index below for you guys, but I swear by this drill. It's a fine grit. Obviously, you can get medium, extra coarse, whatever you need, but I remove acrylic with this bit and everything, and it's a fine grit. So that ought to tell you like how great the bit is. Like, it just it's a really, really good bit, and it's awesome for getting your nails into that shape, that natural, nice, rounded coffin shape and you won't have to worry about all that extra hand filing that's why i'm like really excited about practicing with this because i feel like it's gonna help me get so much better with my time with my clients it's really really gonna help so let me know what you guys think about the unboxing let me know if this is something you'd actually be interested in buying if you think um i actually i think i paid like 60 bucks for this hand um, now I know it's not the prettiest looking thing. It does collect a lot of dust. It doesn't have rings or anything like that. But if there's anybody out there that's watching right now that has like a business that does handmade jewelry or anything like that, and you want to get your stuff out there and you'd like me to review some of it on Lola Jr. or anything like that, let me know. I am absolutely open to reviewing glitters, nail products, acrylics, whatever it may be if you have it and you want it reviewed, definitely do not hesitate to hit me up in the comments below. I will also leave my email in the description index below, so if you would like to reach out that way, you can also. But yeah, we're getting closer and closer to a thousand subbies, guys, and I'm just so excited and very humbled by the experience. I've been working really, really hard to get here, so I really, really hope that you guys have been liking these videos thus far. And if you have any other ideas or suggestions or videos you'd like to see in particular, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed this pretty simple St. Patty's Day design. And if you recreate it, definitely link me in your cards. Otherwise, I will see you guys soon. If you're new here and haven't subscribed, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. I promise you will not regret it. I so enjoy doing these videos for you guys and chatting with you guys. So do not forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to smash that like button and share if you don't mind. And to all my existing subbies, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for being here and being such a constant force in my life. And it just, I really look forward to talking with you guys every time I do a video. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one, and until my next one, I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye!